All right, speed limit's 45. I need to start slowing down. There we go. I was just about to hit the brake. And now right here, speed limit is 35 and I'm still going 51. The car was not slowing down for speed limit change from 45 to 35. It was still going way too fast. Um, I'm gonna hit the accelerator. I'll pop it up to 58, 59 and it should hold that at least for a little while and you'll see up ahead, if it's still like the last version, it will slow back down um, right around the next curve. And you can see on the map there's no change, it's just a straight road. So likely right at this building up ahead, actually a little early. Um, <laughs> so it thought those campers were a semi and maybe it thought it was going to pull out and it put me in the left lane. It did render a semi on the side. All right, so we're going 35. Speed limit is 20 right here. And nope. Speed limit drops from 35 to 20, and the car was still going over 30. All right, so once again, had to disengage uh, due to speed changes. I'm not sure if it's gonna get over. It should plan ahead because it could get up here and then, you know, a car could be beside it and it wouldn't be able to get back over. Um, so is it actually going to change lanes without a turn signal at the last second? Continuing to be very smooth on this road, um, except for that acceleration, um, don't need to speed up that much. Uh, but you know, just its ability to go in and out of these parked cars and stop when there's a car coming the other direction, it's, that's one of the really, really good things um, on version 12. Uh, that was much better, uh, still a little wide, um, but I didn't feel like it was gonna come so close that I had to take over. Now, Right there. <laughs> Car was getting too close to the curb. It's obviously clear. All right, so that is very smooth. It doesn't launch it over this hill. Um, version 12, uh, the previous version 12 builds didn't either, but that was even better. It was, it slowly made that turn until it could see. Um, which is what I like to see, what a human would typically do. Um, so that was definitely better. And so this time it's light out, so maybe it'll have an easier time seeing the gate? I don't know. So let's see what it does. There's a big red gate there, and it was going to hit it. So there we go. Um, <laughs> it doesn't see the gate or it doesn't react to it. I don't know. Uh, my ultrasonics are obviously showing something ahead. Um, I am about on that front corner. I'm about, I don't know, uh, two feet or less from hitting that part of the gate. Um, it's actually, um, 
let's see. I'm actually going to check out the uh, right B pillar. Uh, right door pillar. Yeah, it can't. So it can't see right there. Uh, the wide angle. The wide angle. So it can see the top. Obviously it can see the gate, but down low it can't see any of that so look right here where the where the bar goes down and then compare that to the uh, right door pillar it's there's a small gap um not a lot but um yeah just for some reason it can see the gate from all the cameras i'll show you main uh i can see it narrow it can see it there as well um, and wide so why it doesn't react to it I don't know but uh yeah it really needs to okay well that's it um, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next one